suppose the worst part of the video is how to start it. Happy Easter. <laughs> no. Oh, I fucking hate Easter. <laughs> Who else has stuffed their face with chocolate all day? Is that your impression of me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> 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 I'm shy. <laughs> 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 no. I'm so flush. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Guys, it's Easter Sunday. Doctor Who's released a trailer, of course. They said they were going to do it, and they've released the eight episode titles in there as well. What I'm going to do today, because I keep getting such lovely comments, such as, how old are you, 12? Thank you, mate. Appreciate that one. And this one, pausing every five seconds. What a great reaction. I wanted to make something very clear, because a lot of you seem to be getting quite annoyed at my reaction videos, because I do tend to pause it quite a lot. The BBC does this really interesting thing where when there's a video of someone talking shit about Doctor Who, they don't copyright it. They just let it stay up forever but people like myself who actually talk fairly nice things about Doctor Who we get our channels just obliterated anytime we play a video over six seconds so if you're wondering why I pause it quite a lot that is why I'm trying not to have my channel just absolutely just destroyed Doctor Who's released a trailer we're gonna sit and watch it today I'm gonna have a look see if I've added anything new what I don't want to see is more of that we use footage because that's not cool I don't like that see if there's anything else that's gonna be given away some things we can piece together with our big brains let's watch the trailer in your chair. It's just because I'm just so laid back and I'm just yeah. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, let's go. You ready for this? Okay, right, I'm pausing it straight away. I'm pausing it straight away. I really am hoping that there is not more of this fourth wall breaking talk into the camera because I'm not a fan of it. It's happened a few times in this new Russell T Davis era, it's got to stop because it don't look good. I'm hoping that was just for the trailer and he's not doing that in the episode. Give me the loving. Now, stay back. We already see Yasmin Finney loving. back as Rose. Well, that's good because she was just so good in the 60th anniversary specials. More people were focusing on the fact that she was trans and not the actual fact that she was a good actress. I personally didn't think she was that great, but she's back. Woohoo. Now, stay back. We are going to rock through time. Oh, this is so Bridgerton. Okay, that's the second time she's made the Bridgerton joke, right? It was, it was okay the first time. You don't need to do it twice. Let's just go back and break some of this down. First off, we have Shuti Gatwa just strolling into the place. I am liking his screen presence. I'm watching a lot of the Chibnall era right now. I'm seeing a lot of Jodie looking terrified and it's really annoying me. Shuti Gatwa has got the screen presence to be the Doctor and I quite like it. He's also rocking that leather jacket, Christopher Eccleston style. Very nice. Rock through time. I'm not sure what this is. This is quite interesting. I'm liking I'm liking the um the visuals a lot. I think the episode I'm most excited for is the musical episode with the Beatles because this has never been done in Doctor Who and it's really just quite weird. And I'm seeing all these shots of all these clearly choreographed musical numbers and I don't, I don't know how to feel about it. This is Ruby. You are wild, brave and rude. No, you made it worse. Where shall we go? Anywhere. Oh, no, 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 wait, go back, go back, hang on a minute. We go anywhere. It's you. Spill, spill. Yeah, that didn't look good. That bit didn't look good at all. Was that a talking baby? I don't know if that was a baby talking, if that was Ruby talking in front of a baby, hang on. Shall we go anywhere. It's you. Spill, spill, baby. Oh, is it? I'm pretty sure that was a baby talking. I don't like that. That doesn't look good. <laughs> that doesn't look good at all. Listen to me. This is what we're trying to stop. All of life extinguished. Ooh. You'll keep us safe? I will keep us safe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> There's a lot of looking directly into the camera, which is just making me laugh. That's very Stranger Things, and that's probably one of the best looking practical monsters I've seen. What's going on here? Looks like the world's been destroyed. This is what we're trying to stop. There's a lot of these ominous shots of Ruby just staring into the distance. Oh, is that shooty crying? I'll tell you who's not gonna like that. That Reaper guy. There is no excuse for him to be crying over this, other than the writers wanted him to be a weak, pathetic character that shows zero masculinity. You're crying like a woman. If there's one thing we've learned from him, the doctor doesn't cry because he's a man and he shouldn't cry. That's a woman's job only because women are weak. 
Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on. We've got work to do. There's a storm coming. I love that shot. Called. Honey. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's so clear that this is going to be so cheesy. It's like, just just watch over this bit again. You called. <laughs> oh no. Honey, I'm a much bigger bang than you bargained for. I will shatter this silly little battlefield into dust. Oh. In a heartbeat. Oh, okay. Catching monsters, getting into scrapes. So I keep moving on. This trailer is quite good in the fact that it's not giving anything away. There's just a lot of shooty and Millie Gibson just looking into the camera really like worried. There was that little bit there, shooty like really giving quite a performance. That looked sensational actually. In a heartbeat, into dust. Yeah, I like that, I like that a lot. That shot there with Millie Gibson wrapped up in the musical notes. I have never seen special effects in Doctor Who like that. That's quite amazing. Look at that. In the next, in the next. Have you ever felt so alive? <laughs> and that's just the beginning. Okay. Right, it ended with another look at the camera and talking to us. And I, I just don't like that. The Disney budget, it just looks mental. I never thought I would see Doctor Who in this state before. I'm so used to the the cheese and the cheap special effects, but I'm seeing like Stranger Things level budget. The designs look incredible. Shooty looks amazing. I've not really seen too much of Millie talking other than just looking into the camera. So there's still a lot to get from her. I didn't get too much from her in the Christmas special. So I am very intrigued to see how she comes about. Right, anyway, I want to have a look at the um, the actual episode titles. I don't actually know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, okay. So, episode one is called, sp <laughs> for fuck's sake, Space Babies. Right, I, I don't know how to feel about that one. So, that was the one where we saw the clip of the babies talking, and I'm, I'm really... <sighs> Oh, I don't know. Whilst I'm all up for the cheese and the silliness of Doctor Who, I don't want it to be, like, too silly. Do you know what I mean? Space Babies? It's gotta be good. Space Babies, written by Russell T. Davis. The Devil's Chord. I'm guessing that's the Jinx Monsoon episode, where we see, obviously, um, the Beatles and uh, Millie Gibson wrapped up in all those musical notes. That's written by Russell T. Davis as well. This one, though, however, Boom is written by Stephen Moffat. Ah, oh, the whole gang's back as well. Boom, that gives nothing away, so I don't know, I, I couldn't tell you what one that would be. I'm guessing it's that Renaissance episode, the Bridgerton episode. I'm get, that's, got, that's got Stephen Moffat written all over it, that one. Got 73 Yards, written by Russell T. Davis. I couldn't tell you what one that one is. Uh, Dot and Bubble. These are some interesting names. Guys, I, I I thought I'd have more to add to this. I thought I'd give more away. Usually you have like something of the Dalek, something of the Cybermen. This is this is giving nothing away. Boom, 73 yards, dot and bubble, rogue, the legend of Ruby Sunday. So I'm guessing that's gonna be where we find out who left her at the doorstep of the church. <sighs> and then Empire of Death. That's a Doctor Who title, isn't it? Empire of Death. Space Babies, though, I <laughs> that's that's going to be interesting. So that's on May 11th. So I'll literally be landing back from Ibiza, getting straight here, and then having to pretty much sleep, wake up, film this, because the episode's dropping at midnight. So let me know your opinions down in the comments below. I would like to know what you guys think of these episode titles and what's going to be in those episodes. I thought I would get a little bit more from them, to be honest, but I've got nothing. The actual series overall looks amazing. There's a few bits of cringe in there that I'm a bit questionable about, but hey, it's Doctor Who. You're going to have some cheese. You're going to have some cringe. You're going to have some great stories. That's how it is. And that's why I love the show. So anyway, I'm going now. Bye.